Hopefully you guys can't hear the loud humming in the background that's coming from one of my neighbors across the street. I have not seen these before. Some new ore, some cave looking things. I haven't played Minecraft in forever. So I have no idea what these are. But yeah, this is the base model M2 Air. And at 20 render distance, this thing runs completely fine. It's This doesn't have the pro motion, so the max you're gonna see is 60 frames per second. It's hard to show it because I don't have an FPS counter and I think I need to download Optifine for that probably. But yeah, if I enable this debug option, it does drop the frames by a little bit. So over here it's going to show like anywhere from 55 to 60, maybe even lower. But even though the FPS says 60 frames per second, it's not always running at 60. This feels more like around 50 to 55 maybe. Like there is some like stuttering here and there. Like it's not completely smooth, smooth 60. What if we try to drop down the render distance to maybe 13? Like throughout all of this, it's completely playable of course. But it's just not the buttery smooth experience that I kind of would expect it. But it still runs great. And of course the most beautiful thing about playing these games on the Mac is they are all dead silent. This one doesn't have fans of course. But even when they do have fans like my M1 Pro, I never heard them come on before. And being such a thin machine, this is just really easy to carry around and you can play it whenever, wherever, even if you're in the car or something. But yeah, even like this, it's like ever so slightly smoother if I drop the render distance down, but it's not that much smoother than playing on 20. So I think that's just how the game runs. What if I play it at like 32 chunks? Because if there's no real smoothness difference between all these different render distances, you might as well have it on the highest setting. Let's see. The FPS is definitely dropping a little more. We're at like 30 now. So definitely, yeah, at 32 chunks, it's definitely a little laggier. But, still playable, just not a smooth experience. I think if you probably downloaded Optifine, you could configure some setting and try to get it really smooth. But yeah, I mean, either way, it runs great on this M2 Air. If it's not 60, it's around 60. Playing at a normal render distance, of course. And yeah, just if I touch around the body of this MacBook Air, trackpad cold to the touch, palm areas are also cold to the touch, keyboard cold. The only thing that is slightly warm is this top area above the keyboard, mostly here. 
but you can only feel that it's warm to the touch. And it's not even getting hot or anything like that. I am also playing on full screen resolution, so if we wanted, I think we could drop this a little bit, even like here. And when we drop the resolution, it is smoother. Ooh, they added bees now. There's the beehive. Yeah, this is all new to me because I haven't played Minecraft in a long, long time. But yeah, dropping the resolution down does smoothen it out a tiny, tiny bit. But on such a small screen, like this 13 inches, you can't really notice a sharpness decline if you go from full screen to in this case 1920 by 1200 so honestly you could just have it playing at this resolution and it's going to be a little smoother and you're not going to notice a difference it's really loud outside what is this ore? oh it's copper That is a little test on Minecraft. This is just the base game on the base model M2 MacBook Air. Plays perfectly fine. I don't think anyone's going to have any problems running this game or complain that it's not smooth enough or whatever. And you can make it smoother if you try to optimize it with Optifine or something like that. But. Yeah, it plays perfectly fine here. General FPS, you're staying above 54. So, anywhere from 54 to 60 frames. 